Hello everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm Martha. Welcome back to Sunday School Service. Today we're going to be reading about the armour of God. I'm going to be reading the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness and the sword of the spirit. And I'm going to be reading the shield of faith, the belt of truth and the shoes of peace. The helmet of salvation. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under the heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. Ch Acts chapter 4 verse 12. The breastplate of righteousness. He made him who knew no sin on our behalf, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. The shield of faith. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 Belt of truth Buy the truth, do not sell it. Wisdom instructions and insight as well. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 23 The sword of the spirit for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing, asunder of soul and spirit, and the joints of marrow, discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The shoes of peace. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel and peace and bring glad tidings of good tidings. Romans chapter 10, verse 15. I hope you learned something. God bless you. Bye! Bye. Got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on Hey everybody, it's Salem here. Today I wanted to talk about the armour of God which is mentioned in Ephesians 6. And specifically I wanted to talk about the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. And because that's the only offensive weapon that is mentioned by Paul in this book. Because all the other ones are offensive. So you use them to defend yourself when anything bad or evil is coming at you. But the sword of the spirit is offensive so you use it to fight back so that's why it's so important and this is a word the word is so important in our lives and also in the spiritual warfare that's going on because the bible talks about this there's so much more going on there's 
you know, a fight between evil and good. And good has already won. God has already won. His triumph has already been written. But there's a spiritual warfare still going on in this world. So that's why we need to be equipped with this armour that Paul describes. And it's important to use this in your everyday life to always be ready because you never know when you can be attacked. And you always want to be ready with the armour. You don't want to be caught vulnerable. Otherwise, it won't end well. So that's why we always have to be ready and set to fight. That's my message for today. Thank you. Bye. Protects me from evil, for I will not yield to any temptation to do anything wrong when I'm wearing the armor of God. I put on my armor, the armor. Hi guys, my name is Blessing. Today I'm going to be reading Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18. And I will also be reading a poem based on the part I'm reading. Wear the full armour of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his great power. Wear the full armour of God. Wear God's armour so that you can fight against the devil's evil tricks. Our fight is not against people on earth. We are fighting against the rulers and 
authorities and the powers of this world's darkness. We are fighting against the spiritual world, power, powers of evil in the heavenly world. That is why you need to put on God's full armour. Then on the day of evil, you will be able to stand strong. And when you have finished the whole fight, you will be standing. So stand strong with the belt of truth tied around your waist. And on your chest wear the protection of right living, and on your feet wear the good news of peace to help you stand strong. And also use the shield of faith. With that you can stop all burning arrows of the evil one. Accept God's salvation to be your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit. That sword is the teaching of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times. Pray with all kinds of prayers and ask for everything you need to do this. You must always be ready. Never give up. Always pray for all God's people. Now I'm going to read my poem. God gave us his weaponry so we can fight against the enemy. It is called the armour of God and it makes us have truth, righteousness, peace, faith, salvation and the Holy Spirit. We may wear it at all time at all the time and so we will shine. Thank you for watching. Bye. Are you ready? Hey guys, it's me, Douglas, and hey check out this cool armor I made. Yeah I made it out of cardboard because today I wanted to talk to you about the armor of God. Now I don't know about you but I think that knights in shining armor are super cool. And back in the day, soldiers used to wear armor to protect themselves in battles. And their armor was made out of like iron or steel. Like my, my armor is made out of cardboard. So it wouldn't work very well as real armor, but it's still fun to make. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but if you are a Christian, then you are in a battle and you need armor. You don't need steel armor or certainly not cardboard armor. You need the armor of God, spiritual armor. Yeah, because see, the Bible says that our battle is not against flesh and blood. No, our battle is against the spiritual forces of evil. Our battle is against Satan, not against people. Sometimes it really feels like our battle is against people because there's all kinds of people out there who really don't like us. If you're a Christian, there's going to be people who don't like you. That's just the way it is. It's kind of sad, but that's the way it is. But even if people hate you and they say that they're your enemy, they're not. Satan is your enemy. And Satan might use people against you, but in the end, they're not the ones we're supposed to fight. Our battle isn't against them. It's a spiritual battle, not a physical one. And so you need spiritual armor. You need the armor of God. Now, the armor of God is spiritual, but that doesn't mean that it's, like, magical, right? No, when it's time for a spiritual battle, you don't just say, I summon the armor of God. No, that's not how it works. No, the Bible says that the, the armor of God is the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness, and feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, and the shield of faith, and the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Now again, all these things that I'm showing you right now, these are just pieces of cardboard. These are not the armor of God. It's just a cool craft and a fun visual. No, you can't see the armor of God, but it's there to protect you. And again, you don't just summon it magically. They've got, the, you know, the, the bits of the armor of God have cool names, but it's more than just a cool name. The name is the thing. What it is, is your armor. Let me explain. So like the breastplate of righteousness, the body armor of righteousness, that means that your righteousness acts like body armor. It's not just a fun name. It is what it is. And righteousness means doing what is right. So if you have the breastplate of righteousness, that means that you are doing what is right. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, if you're living your life the way God has called you to, then you've got a strong breastplate of righteousness. And so like the belt of truth, you're supposed to stand up for what is true. You're supposed to say what's true and not lie and not cheat. Feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace means that you should always be ready to share the gospel with anyone that you meet. Ready, willing, and able. If you're not ready to share the gospel, it's like running into a battle without any shoes on. And the shield of faith? Your faith acts as a shield. You should know very strongly what you believe and why you believe it. So that when Satan starts throwing stuff at you, when Satan starts, starts shooting you know, metaphorical arrows at you, you can block them with your shield. You can say, I know what's true. I know what I believe. Those arrows aren't getting through my shield. And the helmet of salvation, that has more to do with what God has done for you than what you do in your life. Salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone. The Bible says that if you speak with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, 
and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's the most important piece of armor you can have, and it only comes through Jesus Christ. And the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God, your Bible. Your Bible is like a sword. And just like a soldier needs to practice with his sword to be good at it and know how to use it, you should be reading your Bible and practicing every day, reading God's Word, so that you know it through and through. You know what God says. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would put on the full armor of God. And you know, prayer is a big part of that. God would love to help you strengthen your armor. Jesus wants us to put on the full armor of God so that when Satan comes at us with his schemes, we'll be able to stand our ground. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. And man, I'm super excited to start into this series because actually I'm gonna do several more Armor of God videos. Yeah, I'm gonna do a video of each little bit of the Armor of God. And I'm so excited because it's one of my favorite passages in scripture. And hey, if you would like to learn more about the Armor of God, if you'd like to read about it yourself, check out Ephesians chapter six, verses 10 through 20. I can't wait to talk to you more about the Armor of God. Meet our Christian brother, Mr. Waldeesus. Hello, brother Waldeesus. Hello, Mr. Waldeesus. Mr. Waldeesus, as his name refers, is a born-again Christian. He believes his life is good enough. Well, since he is born again, what more is there needed? Well, this is his ideology. He never has a set prayer time, one-to-one -one with Jesus. He does not worship him in person either. He goes to church. He knows a lot of Christians. He is even good friends with the pastors. He watches some Christian TV channels. He closely follows up the attendance of the members of the church. He enjoys the sermons at church, but he does not really read nor study the Bible for himself. He has 12 Bibles at home. He keeps one in his bag at all times. He looks after his Bibles as he has a lot of respect for the Word of God. Brother Waldeesus never had an encounter with the Holy Spirit, nor a revelation of the Word of God, since he has accepted Jesus Christ as his personal Savior. One day, the devil comes for a fight, to kill, steal, and destroy as he does. <laughs> Brother Waldeesus is not really prepared. He feels shocked and yet he believes he is well equipped. <laughs> Feeling keen to win and underestimating the devil, Brother Waldeesus tries to fight back. The battle goes as follows. The battle is brutal. The war, can we have the sound please? Verdi? Sadly, but not surprisingly, Brother Waldeesus is defeated and loses the fight. In fact, Brother Waldeesus is left with great damage, spiritually and emotionally, including his physical health. Okay, meet Brother Waldeesus again. Hello, Brother. Hello, Hello, Hello Brother, Brother Waldeesus. This time, Brother Waldeesus has learned from his mistakes and knows better. He made Jesus his best friend. He communicates to him frequently through prayer and through reading the Bible on his own, as well as with other Christians. He now knows Jesus Christ in person, rather than hearing about him from others. He stands therefore, having girded his waist with truth.
having put on the breastplate of righteousness. having shod his feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. He takes the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit with which is the word of God. He stands firm on the word of God, 2 Kings 6.16. Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. One day the devil comes for a fight, to kill, steal, and destroy as he does. <laughs> <laughs> now, now Brother Wilder Jesus is well prepared and equipped as you can see. Feeling confident in Christ and believing that when he can fight his battle, he faces the devil. The devil is of course defeated. God wins, which means brother Wilder well, Yesus wins. Victory is brother Wilder well, Yesus. Can you come out, please? Skadoos, skadoos, nice at a wheat quota, a CRP, and a doos, you could grow a lamb, could do, but he oh, no. Skadoos, 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 nice at a wheat quota, a CRP, and a doos, you could grow a lamb, could do, but he oh, no. Skadoos, skadoos, Nice that I wish Goita is the happy head 
Maharani Amla Hey A Ariya he wet say Mangade Kuluk Hey Missaha Missai Kunele Maharani Amla Hey A Ariya he wet say Mangade Kuluk Hey Missaha Missai Kunele Maharani Amla Hey A Ariya they could look ahead, Miss Hamas, I could lay. I had Dancers will stay here and the rest will be going inside. The dancers, just the dancers, please. Stay where you are. Hello, everybody. My name is Aldana and my name is Ebenezer. Today I'm going to be reading Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. And I'm going to be reading Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. Before we start, Ebenezer is going to be praying. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for giving us strength. Thank you for forgiving us and have it and thank you for giving this day for us to have a good life. Thank you for doing all this stuff for us. Thank you for forgiving us and doing what we have to do. Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to be reading. Finally, my breath be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armour of God, that may, ye may to be unable to stand against the wiles of the devil. For the arrest not against flesh and blood, and against the priples, against the powers, against, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against the spiritual wick wickedness in the high places. Wherefore take unto in the whole armour of God, and ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand for having your lawns got about with truth, and having on the blade plate of the, of the, of the righteousness. And your feet should repair of the gospel of the peace. 
Now I'm going to be reading Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish of all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and pray in the spirit on, a, on all oceans with all kinds of praise and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all of the saints. Pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth, words may be given me mystery of the gospel for which I am ambassador in the chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly and as I should. Now we finish uh, so bye. The armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. Put on the belt of truth. My good news boots. Getting dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith. That's all I raise, God's word is what I know With all my might, I'll do what's right With the armor of godliness My helmet's on, my salvation Now I can stand strong and pray Cause the armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor My good news boots, getting dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith, the sword I raise, God's word is what I know. With all my might, I'll do what's right with the armor of godliness. My helmet's on, my salvation, now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be I can't stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me, good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me, good on me How are you today? I just want to tell you tonight at six o'clock we're going to have a Zoom meeting. All of us, all the Sunday school teachers and you guys, we're going to have a Zoom meeting. We're going to send you the link. We're going to send it to your mom or to your dad and we want you to join us. We're going to have fun, all of us together. So please, today, six o'clock, we want you to open your laptops or your mobile phones and join us so we're gonna see each other some of you will really miss you we didn't see you for a long long time so please come to the zoom meeting tonight at six o'clock ask your mom or your dad to contact one of the sunday school teachers or to contact me to send you the link the zoom link and then we're gonna have fun so don't forget tonight six o'clock okay Okay, God bless you.